Hey guys, today I'm filming another video for my beauty transformation series and this one is going to be on beauty products that changed my life. That is a very dramatic title, but it definitely still applies. These aren't just my favorite products, they really changed the way I feel about makeup and my favorite things that I love to apply on my face that I could never be without. So I just wanted to jump right into it. I don't want it to be too long and like I said these aren't just my favorite products because if so a lot more things would be in this video. So I'm just going to start off with eyes and the first is e.l.f. eyelid primer. One of my friends told me about this um, my freshman year in college. I'm a junior now so and that's really like when I got into makeup. That's when I got into e.l.f. and I've never really shopped e.l.f. at Target mm -hmm. and this is, I never understood an eyeshadow primer was important. I never knew about it because not very many brands have them. More brands have them now than they did when I started really wearing makeup like a couple years ago. Not very many brands had them. Um, but this is one dollar. I think it's amazing and like I said many times before, my eyelids are extremely oily so I should just crease on me super easily and I know a lot of my friends are the same way I have purchased this primer for every single one of my friends and my family members because I think that this is amazing I feel that creased eyeshadow looks a hot mess and I want to avoid it at all costs and I think that this does the job like I said before I like this better than Tarte and Urban Decay I think that this is amazing this is the original one that only costs a dollar and you can get it at Target so I I can never be without this. I never would know how amazing eyeshadow can look and last all day until my friend introduced me to this eye primer. Next thing would be my Maybelline color tattoos. These are one of my, I guess my top three favorite products of all time. Like I'm so obsessed with these. Um, I, my favorite shades are Toughest Taupe and Bad to the Bronze. Toughest Taupe I use in my crease like every single day and these make my eyeshadows last longer they are vibrant these are really good bases for pigments or eyeshadows with a lot of fallout just because they will adhere to this little bit of a sticky base better i've tried a lot of cream eyeshadows and they all crease on me like i said i've got oily eyelids even with even with primer they still crease on me mm -hmm. For these to not crease is amazing and I use Tavis Taupe in my actual crease so for this not to crease is like I said amazing and these are honestly life changing products. I definitely recommend them both. Tavis Taupe doesn't get a whole lot of love and you know I get it because it's a dark matte color but like I said I love it for the crease and any eyeshadow on top of that looks amazing. My next eye product are the MAC Velux Pearl eyeshadows. I only have three. They are all Velux Pearls and they are amazing. I am obsessed with these. They're all different bright colors. My absolute favorite eye looks are centered around these and I used to think drugstore eyeshadows were amazing. Some, some are but you know, once I got introduced to the MAC Velux Pearl eyeshadows, I fell in love. This is Sumptuous Olive. My, one of my, this is probably my favorite color of all time. I absolutely love it in the summer with my hair and my skin and my eye color. I also really love Stars and Rockets. I have Tutorial, which I'll link up here for you all. And I also have Shimmer Moss, which is discontinued, but I see it at the CCO all the time. And I have a tutorial that I'll link up here. And there's another shade like Aquadisiac, which is very similar to this. So. I'm obsessed with these. They are extremely pigmented and they have like a metallic finish to them which is awesome. I love that. It gives them more dimension. They're not so flat and they are super pigmented and I honestly would not want to be without them in a makeup collection. I think they're absolutely amazing and really all of them bring out my eye color, my hair color, my skin color. Very flattering and perfectly pigmented. Next is my Holy Grail Liquid Liner Maybelline Line Stiletto. Ever since I tried this, I've never worn pencil eyeliner again. I've tried, I can't apply it, okay? Isn't that sad? I cannot apply pencil eyeliner to my top lash line. I have to use this, and this is amazing. It lasts a long time, it's got a felt tip, and it's a short handle, so it's easy to apply. Again, this is something I buy for all my friends and family because they need it in their lives. It's amazing. Next would be my NYX Blush and Taupe, my Holy Grail Contour Powder. And this is amazing for fair skin because it is a brown with gray undertones. So it mimics the natural color of shadows that would be on your face. This is amazing. Super pigmented. Very blendable. I'm absolutely in love with it. 
I can't remember who I was watching, but I saw a video said that this was an amazing product and a good dupe for Maxi Moat Blush, which Lauren Noir uses as a contour. And I was obsessed with her, so whatever she loved, I had to have as well. I know that's crazy. I also do that with Amarique's. It's a problem, but you know, usually they are all recommendations that work for me, but this is so amazing. I cannot be without this. I do use other products to contour and I do like them, but if I can only have one contouring product, this would be it. And contouring is one of my favorite things to do. I really like the way it looks on my face. I only do it to my cheekbones. I don't worry about my nose or my forehead or my jawline. So I am obsessed with that. And you saw I hit major pan on it. And next would be lip products. The first being my lovely Burt's Bees. My best gal pal Emily got me into this like ninth grade or something. I don't know. I seriously go through so many tubes of this. I keep it in my pocket or my ID holder all day, every day. I have to apply it like every half an hour. But sometimes my lips get a little too, like this is a really thick chapstick. So sometimes it's too thick for my lips in which I use other chapsticks. I have a zillion, but Burst Bees is the one that I will always repurchase. It's my absolute favorite. I love the minty scent and I cannot be without this. So my last lip product I want to talk about are the Revlon Lip Butters. I'm a person that does not like lipstick. It does not feel good on my lips. Chapstick is my thing. So I like the colors, but I I can't stand the dry feeling on my lips. So when these came out, I knew I had to try them. They're an amazing product. They've got the moisturization of a lip balm, the pigment of a lipstick, and the shine of a lip gloss. And I really think that is true. These are also great for somebody who's afraid of color. They are pigmented, but they're not too over the top. And for a person that doesn't like lipstick, this will be the perfect product for you. And I have eight or ten shades and these two are my favorite and they were the first ones I purchased December two Decembers ago when they first came out and absolutely in love with them this is strawberry shortcake and peach parfait I think peach parfait is really pretty it's a nice peach with a golden shimmer and it makes my lips look really full and voluptuous and I love it and Strawberry Shortcake is just the perfect everyday pink. It's a lot more wearable, in my opinion, than Cupcake, but the I'm wearing Strawberry Shortcake right now, but they're just comfortable and feel amazing on the lips, and I love the pigment. I think these are really... I like to take these with me. They don't last all day, but I honestly don't care about that. I love reapplying these, and if I could only have one lip product, I would choose these. They're absolutely amazing. So lastly, I've got brushes. The first thing I want to talk about is my Soho Beauty Beauty Sponge. Sorry, this is stained, okay? It is dirty. I haven't washed it since last weekend, okay? But that's not that bad, all right? It's been one week, y'all. I wash my brushes every two weeks. Just saying. But anyway, this gets stained really easily, but this is a Soho Beauty Beauty Sponge. I was a little intimidated at first because I didn't like a football, but don't worry, I figured out how to use it. I love this for my foundation and I also like it to blend in concealer under my eyes but seriously that makes foundation go on flawlessly it makes it a little more sheer which I like so it helps me from getting cakey because I can get cakey girls let me tell you I go a little bit crazy with powder because I it will get cakey but then it will my oils kind of break it up it's not very pleasant to talk about anyways I'm obsessed with that you can get it at Walmart or Walgreens if you can get it at Walmart, I suggest it because it's cheaper. And then lastly, on my Real Techniques face brushes. I got this, I got these last summer for my birthday um, for my boyfriend, all of them except for this one, and fell in love, fell in love. Um, I've got the Core Collection, one of the other brushes I don't have with me right now, powder brush and the blush brush powder brush is absolutely perfect for bronzer. I use this for bronzer like the E3 and on my neck. I learned that from Amarix, but this is perfect for bronzer, which it would also work for powder. Then the, uh, what's this called? The buffer brush is really good for foundation. I like this for my um, Revlon Color Stay Whipped. This works really well for that. The detailer brush is perfect, precise concealer brush that I use for acne. And the contour brush is literally my favorite brush ever. I've tried so many brushes for contouring. This is my favorite and it is flawless with the NYX Blush and Taupe. This is a blendable powder. This brush is great at blending so it really makes it look flawless. And definitely this is like my favorite combination of like all time. 
I have a video on my favorite beauty combos, which I'll link right up here. And the blush brush is perfect for if you have a blush that is too pigmented. This applies it really nicely, just the right amount. And I also use this sometimes, like recently I've been using this to touch up powder. So all of these brushes really have multiple uses to them. So I really hope you guys like this video. Um, these are all the products that have changed my life. Things that I can't live without and I never would want to be without. And there are things that I recommend to everyone because I think they are all absolutely amazing. So please leave a comment down below of beauty products that you cannot live without. And I really hope you guys like this video and please rate, comment, and subscribe and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys.